Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Scents with Nikhil and today I have two very inexpensive but great smelling fragrances. This is Azahar from the house of Adolfo Dominguez and um, he is a Spanish fashion designer. The other one is a surprise, white musk sport from the house of Body Shop. Enjoy! So welcome back my friends. Ah, these two fragrances are really nice value for money. And the reason why I'm talking about these two fragrances are because these two are very affordable, can be obtained from the internet easily or e this body shop fragrance you can grab anywhere from the shop, online, it's everywhere guys. Uh, these two fragrances work great for people who are looking for budget fragrances, especially during hot summers. However, I must tell you now that both these fragrances do not have exceptional longevity. This fragrance definitely has a super longe longevity, but not this one. But seriously, with these sort of perfume concentrations, you are not looking at uh, too much of a performance because you know citrusy notes if they last on your skin without changing much for a long time will get boring very soon the second part is that they will get really annoying all right uh, summery freshy colognes are basically used to freshen up during hot days and they serve the purpose really well so first we'll talk about azhar this is a beautiful bottle a brilliant presentation all right for a fragrance which costs hardly something between $25 to $40 and uh, you can also find it in the Indian market online Azhar is basically <laughs> directed towards women all right but why am I wearing it guys because this is this is totally like an artisanal summer freshie all right it's got notes of neroli it's got uh, a beautiful touch of jasmine which is not mentioned in the official notes but i can tell you because i love indian jasmine jasmine sambak or uh, what we call mogra in india and uh, it's got a beautiful uh, musky dry down it's such a natural smelling cologne it really surprises me because for this price i don't think you'll get a fragrance of this quality a fragrance of such blending and uh, i think Spanish artists, I love the house of Ramon Monigal and I think these Spanish artists do a great job with uh, floral fragrances, especially citrusy floral fragrances. However, Ramon plays with some dark stuff as well and uh, he makes some really nice magical stuff. And also the house of Rosendo Matu, if you've not heard the name, uh, he is a Spanish perfumer, he's a senior person so he's spent a lot of time in the business and he has top-notch perfumes but sadly these perfumes never become famous due to limited uh, availability and uh, I wish they were more famous and people would talk about those fragrances I sampled them while I was in Barcelona and uh, the lady at Regia, the, the niche store next to the perfume museum was kind to give me samples of their line and I can tell you guys those are some very refined subtle beautiful creations anyway so this fragrance is a top-notch summer freshie. I love the note of orange blossom. The metallic sweetness coming out of orange blossom is just beautiful. All right. And it's so natural smelling. It really, truly amazes me. If you like Neroli Sauvage from the house of Creed, this will really surprise you. There is a beautiful uh, supporting note of Indian Jasmine, which is sweet. Uh, it also has that uh, uh, vegetal sort of touch, you know, plant-like feeling. And uh, there's in, in the background, there's a beautiful uh, ozonic musk, very aquatic uh, sort of a musk, you know, you, something which you get from a Creed uh, perfume, that, that signature musk ambergris dry, dry down, you get something like that here. So a great fragrance for the price, this is a 100ml Eau de Toilette and it lasts for an easy 6 to 8 hours on my skin, especially if the weather is pleasant. If it's too hot, if it's really humid, I don't think you're, you're gonna get the performance, but that applies to most perfumes of this concentration, all right? Or even some of the other perfumes don't last in this summer heat. We get about 40 degrees centigrade here and it gets really, really tough on the fragrances. Anyway, coming to the second fragrance now, White Musk Sport. This is one surprise entry from the house of Body Shop. Now, White Musk series has seriously enjoyed a lot of love in the community. It's, it's, 
it has a good reputation with casual perfume users and also people who like their perfumes light and airy this is a concoction based around a beautiful grapefruit note it's not sour it's not very uh, you can say sweetish all right it's it's almost like a bergamot smelling grapefruit supported very well by sweet mandarin all right it's a beautiful mandarin note in here however these notes are not very uh, you know outstanding for the price i mean this hardly costs uh, 1695 rupees in the indian market that's about uh, $20 yeah $20 something like that $20 in uh, the US dollar equivalent and the notes are decent now there's this typical white musk which you get from these generic fragrances which is nothing but galaxolide which has been overused in the white musk series but everyone everyone seems to love it especially women it, it has a really nice a charming sort of presence on a man's skin and uh, this fragrance is no exception definitely lives up to its name that is sport however the longevity is not so amazing with this one three to four hours maximum if you're in a good weather a pleasant weather this could last longer if you spray it on clothes i i highly advise you to spray both these colognes on your skin as well as on your clothes for the same reason uh, yes so it gets me a lot of compliments that's why I love this fragrance because I wasn't using it too much. One day I just came back uh, from work, took a bath and sprayed this, sprayed this on me and my wife was in awe. She was loving this fragrance on me. She said, I smell amazing and uh, you know, it feels really nice when somebody uh, compliments you for, for, for something which is not very expensive. and. Uh, it just shows that you don't need to spend a lot of moolah for something which can smell good and uh, people can appreciate it and she loves difficult fragrances as well so it's a good thing going for this fragrance three to four hours guys i'll be frank with you with a soft sillage this one is also soft but it's much better in projection as compared to this one and uh, this gets more compliments than this uh, this leans you, uh, more towards uh, you can say a little feminine but I love the notes here. It doesn't come across uh, as feminine to me because the notes are very typical of uh, uh, Crete Summer Freshy, something like that. If you love those sort of fragrances, splashy colognes, which are not very tough on you, you're definitely going to love this one. So this one is Azahar from the house of Adolfo Dominguez. I think this deserves more attention than it gets. Uh, if this fragrance was sold to me for $100, I wouldn't be able to tell this that this is not a quality fragrance. I hold this fragrance in, re in a really high regard, guys, for the same reason. Uh, musk Sport, White Musk Sport is, uh, you know, a great fragrance, uh, a short-lasting cologne, which has a very soft, um, you know, presence on you, but uh, this really does the job. You can reapply these fragrances if you're going to the gym, if you're going outside to meet your friends. So uh, if that's all right for you, I think it's worth checking out. Guys. Both these fragrances are worth checking out. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Now for the schedule, I'm going to upload isolated fragrance reviews every Wednesday. And uh, I have some real, real nice surprises coming up for you guys. And this weekend is going to be special. Uh, there's going to be a video which all of you need to see. And it will it'll, it'll, it'll have a rap battle between two fragrances. Yes, I'm going to put music and some rap in that. So I hope you like that one, guys. Uh, this is Nikhil signing off now. And remember to trust your nose above everyone else's. Take care. Bye-bye.